Yo, 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 the name is Kaylin, and allow me to welcome you to my channel. You are joining me for another session of freestyles. For those of you new here, thanks for checking me out. Essentially, today I'm going to be showing you how to take the fuss out of healthy eating. No matter any dietary preferences or any picky eaters out there, I got you. And we're not going to be messing with any recipes either. Typically, the craving for pasta hits at random, and we often don't have all of the ingredients lying around for the intricate sauce, the toppings, whatever it might be. And you know, the craving goes unheard. That is, until I get a hold of you. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a super simple pasta from whatever you have lying around. So, cuddle up, let's get started. First things first, you're gonna start with some high heat oil in a pan, whether it's grapeseed, avocado, coconut oil, sunflower, but if you're not particular about that kind of thing, olive oil is fine too. All the spoiler, I will be adding olive oil in the end, but just after it's a little bit cooler. Once that oil is popping, it's time for the best part, I mean, in my opinion, veggies. Well, in this case, I'm actually adding fungus first, mushrooms. These are my Takis, they're my absolute favorite, gourmets, great for your brain, all that good stuff, but this is the opportunity to put in any of your favorite veggies. While I simply adore the meaty texture that mushrooms add to pasta, feel free to substitute or add veggies like butternut squash, broccoli, zucchini, tomatoes, really the world is your oyster and I mean if you need a little guidance here, I'd always say go seasonal because that's going to taste the most fresh of anything you choose and that'll obviously just mean better flavor. Near our last few minutes, we want to start working on chopping up some of the next good stuff we will be adding in. And for me, it's starting with some onion. Onion is going to impart a whole lot of flavor for you. And don't be afraid to have fun with it. Purple, white, pearl onions, scallions, whatever needs to happen. Of course, you can go onion free, but you have to remember onion's going to impart a lot of flavor onto the oil that will eventually be coating your pasta. So it's something to consider. As that gets nice and caramelized, you're going to want to consider your green component, if you want one. I'm using some beet greens from the garden, but feel free to insert kale, spinach, herbs, whatever green fix you need. Since we're in that last minute of cooking, this is when I'm adding my garlic because I like it to get lightly roasted and caramelized, just super delicious that way. Cooking it just at the end here allows it to maintain that pungent, garlicky flavor while still helping mild out the flavors and make it nice, sweet, and aromatic. Even when you have one of these things on your side, garlic is always a giant struggle to get out, but it's well worth the flavor, keep in mind. Of course, you can also always do garlic powder, garlic granules, garlic oil, or no garlic at all, and it'll still taste pretty good as long as you love the veggies that are going in. Or at the very least, compensate with some bomb saucy business and flavor, which we'll be getting to shortly. I like to keep those greens and garlic moving so nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan or gets too overcooked, and you'll eventually have this delicious little medley of veggies going for you. Now, if we're getting on the topic of flavor now, sun-dried tomatoes, they got a lot of it, and I always love adding this to some pasta, of course. Use your discretion, but any sort of thing will work. You could always do roasted garlic, roasted red peppers, some, something with just a lot of flavor, but this really just goes in with putting things in your pasta that you will enjoy with it. Ooh, after a little while, it'll hopefully be getting your mouth watering, because this is when smells wonderful, aromatic, beautiful, delicious smells start happening. In these last few moments, you want to ask yourself what flavors you'd like to impart onto this oil before adding your pasta. And in this case, I'll be adding an Italian herb blend. I think it just has some rosemary, basil, thyme, all that good stuff. But feel free to do whatever you have, whatever you like. Uh, sage goes really well with butternut squash and it has some of those flavors, but Italian seasoning is a really safe bet for any sort of pasta dish most of the time. Bonus points if you're actually adding the herbs fresh because, I mean, that, that's just next level flavor. I think with cooking it's safe to say fresh is best. 
Now for the main event, the carby goodness you've all been waiting for. I typically like to add a gluten-free brown rice pasta and I, I do quite fancy these little curly shapes, but you can go with whatever pasta suits your need, whether that's zucchini noodles, angel hair penne, tortellini, just, you know, choose something because pasta is very versatile. From here on out, we are focusing on big flavor for our pasta, and oftentimes that could look like saucy business, but today I'm going to show you how you can do a little bit more of a naked pasta, and I just kind of dress it with a little bit of vinegar, balsamic in this case. And this is for acidity, but you can achieve this with lime juice, lemon juice, uh, any other vinegar like red wine that might suit your fancy. And this next one's a little weird, but it's a trick I picked up in Italy, so I'm just going with it. Adding a little bit of fish sauce, it just, it does something for the flavor, but definitely not necessary in this recipe. And don't forget any seasonings that are going to seal the deal, of course, can't forget your classic salt and pepper, you know, the works. But don't be afraid to add a little more garlic powder, onion powders, sage, Italian herbs, whatever, it, whatever your heart desires. Now we're going to throw it back here. Remember how I was waiting to add the olive oil? That's because I prefer not to heat my olive oil any more than it needs to be, just because that really helps to preserve a lot of the nutrient content, which, which is a plenty in your olive oil. So I would recommend that. It kind of is like dressing your pasta in a light vinaigrette rather than some crazy saucy business. But on that note, if there are any sort of pasta sauces or anything that you're interested in learning how to make, you know your girl can freestyle them, so be sure to leave those in the comments below. So now we find ourselves, the pasta is in, it's smelling good, you are ready to plate up. For these purposes, it will remain in the pan, but I'm going to just walk you through some of my favorite toppings for a naked pasta. First and foremost, red chili flakes. Love them. They're a little spicy, so skip them if you don't want them, but I'd also highly recommend fresh basil, other fresh herbs that you really like. This is really just because I'm feeling fancy, but this balsamic glaze is just over the top, but always delicious with pretty much most Italian food. Last, but most certainly not least, I think that most pastas just don't feel complete with their life until, until they're topped with this delight, and this is Parmesan. Well, in my case, it's, it's vegan Parmesan, which, which actually changed my life because my life felt quite incomplete before I discovered it, so I'll definitely link the recipe from The Minimalist Baker in the description box below. But honestly, any sort of Parmesan cheese, if you have it, is a lovely addition, but if you don't, I really think that if you have some flavors that you enjoy in there, it certainly won't be a problem. For a little more protein punch, you could opt for a chickpea pasta, you could even toast some chickpeas up in some garlic, herbs, and olive oil, or you could do some sort of grilled chicken or steak. But with that, feel free to ask any questions in the comments, or let me know how your freestyle went. Like this video if you found it helpful, and I'll see you next time. Oh yes, and please do subscribe so I can keep encouraging you to customize your own healthy meals at home.